This section covers the basic setup for all of the procedures. Firstly, remove any wheel trims and check the tyre pressures are correct. Ensure the vehicle is positioned on a smooth, flat surface with the wheels pointing straight ahead. Ideally, carry out the procedure on a vehicle ramp to improve access to the track rod ends. The vehicle must be driven forwards onto the turn plates. Four wheel alignment. To successfully set up the tracking on the front wheels, it's necessary to check the front and rear wheels are in alignment. This will ensure the steering wheel is in the straight ahead position when you're driving in a straight line. To do this, you must carry out the following procedure. Place the turn plates with the curved side facing down in front of each wheel and drive the vehicle onto them as shown. Next, clamp the steering wheel making sure it's in the straight ahead position. Then hang the alignment flags onto the rear wheels. Adjust it so the horizontal bar is sitting approximately in the centre of the wheel and touches the tyre at both ends. Ensure the scale is at 90 degrees to the wheel and check the spirit level shows the correct level. Now mount the laser heads onto the front wheels with the toe scales to the front of the vehicle. The black locking hand screw can be loosened off allowing you to adjust the hanger so it sits on top of the tyre. Then adjust the three locators so they touch the wheel rim as shown. Turn on each laser and observe the position of the laser on each rear scale. Add the readings together and then divide by two. For example, if the near side reads three and the off side reads five, adding them together makes eight. Then dividing them by two equals four. You can now adjust each track rod end so that the laser scales each read four. This will ensure the wheels are equal distances from the centre line of the vehicle. Leave the equipment in position and proceed to set the tracking of the front wheels. Front wheel tracking adjustment. Tracking, also referred to as toe angle, relates to the way in which the actual width of the wheel track varies between the front edges when compared to the rear edges of an axle's wheels. This diagram illustrates a toed in or positive toe setup. If the front of the wheels are pointing out, it's classed as toe out or negative toe setup. Specification books show this as a number preceded by a minus sign. The manufacturers stipulate these to reduce tyre wear and to counteract any tension created by other suspension angles. Ideally, once a vehicle starts to move forward, the forces in the suspension and drive cause the wheels to run parallel. However, vehicle designers build a small amount of toe-in or toe-out to improve straight-line performance in the case of toe-in or quicker steering response in the case of toe-out. Each toe scale is made up of two colours set either side of a zero mark. The green scale to the right of the zero indicates toe-in and the red scale indicates toe-out. To calculate, observe where the laser line falls on each scale. If both laser lines fall within the same colour zone, you need to add the figures together. For example, 1mm plus 2mm equals 3mm. If the laser line falls in different colour zones, you need to subtract the smaller figure from the larger one. For example, a reading of 2mm in the green and 1mm in the red means the combined axle total is 1 millimeter. Please refer to the calculation chart at the end of this video. After calculating the figure, refer to the manufacturer's specifications to ascertain if any adjustment is necessary. If it is, adjust each track rod end by referring to the rear scales while making sure the readings remain equal at all times. For example, if your calculations give you a reading of 1mm toe in, but the manufacturer specifies 3mm, you need to adjust each track rod end, increasing the rear scale readings from 4 to 4.5 or 5 on each side until you arrive at the desired toe in on the scale. If less toe in is required on the axle, reduce the numbers on the rear scales. Remember, if your vehicle has power steering, 
Run the engine at this point. Now lock up the track rod ends. Rear wheel tracking and thrust line adjustment. Checking and adjusting rear wheel tracking is necessary to ensure a vehicle's thrust line is aligned with the vehicle's centre line and rear wheel tow is kept equal to the centre line and correctly towed in or towed out. Rear wheel axle alignment can also affect the steering wheel position. When adjusting the rear tow in or tow out, the angles must be equal for both sides. If they're not, the vehicle will steer away from the centre line, causing the tyres to wear prematurely. The rule of thumb when making rear wheel adjustments is to firstly adjust both wheels to equal tow with respect to the centre line, then equally increase or decrease them to the manufacturer's specification. Please note, tow readings are reversed when the laser measuring heads are used for the rear wheels. For example, tow in becomes tow out and vice versa. To do this, you must carry out the following procedure. Place the turn plates with the curved side facing down in front of each rear wheel and drive the vehicle forwards onto them as shown. Then place the alignment assembly flags on the front wheels. Check the flags are level 2, using the spirit levels. Now place the laser measuring heads on the rear wheels. The tracking scales must be at the rear. You can now turn on the lasers. The front wheel scale readings should be equal. If they're not, adjust the rear wheel track adjusters to equalise them. Check the tracking scales at the rear and calculate the toe scales to determine the total toe. If the amount is between 0 and 2 mm, it's generally correct. If they're outside of these limits, you'll need to adjust both sides equally using the rear track adjusters until the correct toe is achieved. Front wheel setback adjustment. The front wheels of a vehicle should be positioned directly opposite each other. However, a tolerance of 5mm is allowed on modern vehicles and 10mm on older vehicles. This is known as setback. If the setback is greater than this amount, it's usually due to collision damage or suspension problems. To check this, firstly place the turn plate centrally in front of each front wheel with the curved side facing downwards. Now drive the vehicle forwards onto the turn plate until the wheel sits centrally on the plate. Now turn the steering wheel into the straight ahead position and place the spring loaded steering wheel clamp to hold it. Next, mount the laser measuring heads onto the front wheels and adjust to fit. Record the readings for the near and off side of the vehicle using the bottom scale labelled setback. A difference of more than 5mm or 10mm for older vehicles will require further investigation to check for damage or wear in the suspension. We've created this chart to help you calculate the toe angles. It also includes a conversion table for degrees minutes to millimetres. The GA70 is supplied with full instructions, a wall calculation chart and an instructional DVD. However, if you have any queries, please contact our technical department on 01284 757 505. Or alternatively, you can email us on technical at sealy.co.uk.